guest is His Highness Prince Bandar of Saudi Arabia, who has played a major role in bringing about the ceasefire and the negotiations that are underway in Lebanon. We are very optimistic by following the President's attitude. Is Syria still cooperating, Prince? Yes, sir. Some of you this morning. Oh. Well, Mr. President, the Prime Minister is suggesting that you're going to run for re election. Would you like? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you'll have to wait a little time for that reply, and I don't think the President is in a hurry to answer your question. Mr. Mr. President, I'm in London, you see, and I said I thought you were a very, very good President. What do you think of this man drop off the response? And I stand by the statement that the State Department released last night that is our, our statement in reply to him. You can get that if you haven't seen it. I noticed that you have used it. Are you disappointed? They spoke for you over there? The statement speaks for itself. station right, for us as right opposed to driving the over us. That's right. Which I wouldn't doubt for a minute that they would do, but it's kind of look like a barricade to I have had the pleasure of cordial and productive discussions with Prime Minister Thatcher on a wide range of mutual interests and concerns. Our conversations reflected the superb relations that exist to maintain peace. We'll carry out our commitments to the alliance moving forward in the modernization of NATO. Both our countries are participating in a peacekeeping force. We agree that the solution to that tragic conflict can only come from the Lebanese themselves, free from all foreign interference. I have reviewed with the Prime Minister we agreed on the need for continued close consultation as a means of resolving any differences between us. Which is extremely vital for the future of our peoples in our several countries. I've also seen earlier this morning Secretary Reagan when we discussed economic matters and...
what's the penalty for dealing from the hot rivalry this year you have going you may just melt the ice at the capital center friday evening athletic rivalry is the best spirit of competition and you put me in a predicament for friday's game because both teams here are in a sense hometown teams or olympic team also played in the 1980 lake placid games before the big game with the soviet on it friday I was out there last Saturday, and where you will be skating, there was a rodeo going on. <laughs> But the Capitals give Washington a very much needed team to cheer for, and I want you to, all to know I follow. Mr. President, on behalf of the Washington Capitals, we'd like to give you this official Capitol jersey on behalf of the whole team. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> all right. And also, I'd like to give you a little token from little slogan on the puck, the puck stops here in 83 and 84. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. And also, Mr. Vice President, I'd like to give you the same thing. Thank you. Beautiful. Mr. President, on behalf of the 1984 Olympic team, we also have a official Olympic jersey to go along with that Washington Capitol jersey. <laughs> I just got an offer to play tomorrow night. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Mr. Vice President, we'd like to give you our team pendant. Hey, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Mr. President, on behalf of the U.S. Olympic team in 1984, for, your, for our appreciation for having us here and your support, a little token of our gratitude. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Let me put it down for you. <laughs> I a new sport for you, and I like to show you how to shoot a puck, if I can shoot one. <laughs> see me hit another puck again. Thank <laughs> you. 